probably be sick of hearing me, that's for sure. Um, second thing is, I've known Dan a long time. I know Dan's been on this awesome path right now, which is really cool. Uh, not only a path of good, healthy living, uh, not only he, and, and healthy, healthy dad. The Helpful Dad. The Helpful Dad. That's his new brand, which I, I love. How great is that? Um, Dan's just got a lot to offer in a lot of ways, and he's also doing coaching. Mm -hmm. So he's just a wealth of knowledge, and what he's going to be talking about today, it, even if you pull just a little nugget out, just one little nugget out, um, it's going to change your life in probably more profound ways than you think, especially a couple months from now when we're talking about this meeting together. So I'm going to give the floor to Dan. I appreciate you very much for being here. I appreciate Molly, too, and Tyler in the back. Uh, I would love to stay for this. I need to go get adjusted, so I apologize. I have to run, but I appreciate you guys being here. So have a great night. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Feel better? I will. Thank I'll you. see you at 630 tomorrow morning. You got it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a great introduction. Thanks, everybody, for coming. I, I do appreciate you being here as well. Uh, just to give you a little st background story as to who I am and how I got here, uh, it was about five years ago. And I was laying on the couch. I, I wasn't thinking too much about it. And, you know, Tyler came up to me and he, he asked me to go outside and play. And I told him, you know, it's not a good day. I'm, I'm tired. I don't feel like it. I just want to lay here for a little bit. And sure enough, I looked at the clock. It was 4.30 in the afternoon. And, and I kind of thought to myself, what are you thinking? You know, here's your three-year-old son. He wants to go outside and play. And you're telling him no. You know, and from that point on, I, I kind of looked at myself and tried to figure out what was wrong. I looked, it's overweight. Uh, I was from where I am today, I was probably 40 or 45 pounds heavier. Um, you know, wasn't eating right. I was eating McDonald's. I was eating Burger King. I was coming off a sales job. I, I transitioned over to a new position. So I was eating this stuff every day. I was taking clients to lunch. We were on a happy hours. So we're doing this and doing that. And it just snowballed to a point where... Um, I didn't know how to eat anymore. I didn't know what to drink. Um, and, well, I did. I thought I did at that time. And I ended up where I was, laying on a couch, not wanting to play with my three-year-old son. You know, so from there, when I started my new position, I uh, met Dr. Jeff. I was all out of whack. I couldn't figure things out. Started to see him. It's like, your, your back is nuts. Started transitioning me into chiropractic uh, health, health or wellness. And... Um, I started to feel better. I'm like, all right, how can I build on this? So I looked into things. I said, I got to lose weight. So I started eating less. Didn't do it the right way. You know, I started losing weight by eating less of what I was already eating. So it took me a while to realize. I'm like, all right, well, why aren't I feeling better? I'm losing weight, but I'm not feeling better. And it was because I was just, instead of getting three cheeseburgers at Burger King, I was getting one or two and thought that that was going to help me, when in essence it really didn't. So going through that, one night my wife, Molly, had a friend over and they were going to go for a walk. And turns out we had a big thunderstorm and they didn't go for a walk. So we started talking to her and seeing what she was doing with her life. And she went to school to be a holistic health counselor. Like, well, this is interesting. So we started talking to her and asking her questions about what she did and how she did things. And it really piqued my interest. And sure enough, <coughs> as we talked through the night, I started figuring things out and said, all right, I need to do this, and looked into it, read into it, talked to Molly about it, and next thing you know, two days later, she calls and says, they just emailed for alumni that we're handing out $1,000 scholarships if you have friends that want to take the program. So right then and there, we decided, let's do it. So we did it. Two years, uh, online course, listen to iPod all the time, PowerPoints on the computer, and next thing you know, um, certified health coach. So from there... What's the next step? I had to exercise. I didn't exercise. I had two bad knees. And I said, you know what? I need to exercise. I need to get myself well again. So I started building up my knees. And this past summer, I decided I'm going to start running again. I, I tried running, but I always, three weeks in, four weeks in, knees would hurt. And I decided, you know what? I'm not going through the pain in my knees anymore. And I would give up. Well, this time I worked through it. And I kept running and kept running. It's almost like a Forrest Gump story. You know, I just kept going and going and going, and, and people look at me like I'm crazy. I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, I get my gear on, and I go running. Uh, I go running before work because, well, after that, after, you know, after I get home from work, it's, you know, he gets off the bus, I'm home with him, and I don't want to miss time for him or my wife. So it's, it's the only time. I go out, I go running spiritually. And, and it's really helping me uh, get to where I am. Now, let's get into eating for energy while you're here.